Small solar system bodies are objects in the solar system that are not among the big planets. These consist of interplanetary dust clouds, comets, asteroids, meteoroids, and centaurs. The Kuiper and asteroid belts are home to many. Moons orbiting six major planets, dwarf planets, and smaller entities are examples of natural satellites. Notably, Titan and Ganymede are larger than Mercury. We will attempt to gain some knowledge about a handful of these objects, such as comets, meteoroids, and asteroids. The asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter is home to the majority of asteroids, which are tiny rocky objects in solar orbit. These early solar system leftovers range in size and composition from tiny rocks to things that are several hundred kilometers large. Asteroids are categorized as C-type, carbonaceous, S-type, silicate, and M-type, metallic. They are amorphous in shape and have cratered surfaces. Their insights on solar system formation aid in our comprehension of the evolution of planets. Although most asteroids are not dangerous, keeping an eye on near-Earth asteroids is essential in case of possible collisions. Asteroids offer scientific and resource-useful options for future space missions, expanding our understanding of the universe and opening up new avenues for exploration and planetary defense planning. Meteoroids are small celestial bodies that are formed from the debris of asteroids or comets. They are far smaller than asteroids and can range in size from minuscule particles to meters in diameter. Meteoroids are made of rock, metal, and occasionally ice. They orbit the sun at great speeds. When they reach Earth's atmosphere, they transform into meteors or shooting stars, and the frictional heating causes them to leave behind bright trails. Meteorites are meteoroids that make it to Earth's surface and survive. These objects are essential for figuring out the composition of the early solar system and provide information on the constituent parts of planets. Our understanding of space debris and potential spacecraft risks is improved by studying meteoroids. All things considered, meteoroids add intrigue to space travel and scientific study while advancing our understanding of the cosmic processes that shape the solar system. Comets are bodies of ice, dust, and gas that form in the outer regions of the solar system, such as the Oort cloud and Kuiper belt. Comets are objects of unique characteristics when heated by solar vicinity, and they remain in cold storage until gravitational perturbations push them toward the sun. This involves the evaporation of volatile substances, which results in a luminous coma and a solar wind-driven tail that is always pointing away. Comets, which are frequently compared to dirty snowballs or icy dirt balls, are composed of a mixture of dust and rocks and include frozen water, carbon dioxide, methane, and organic molecules. The solid core, or nucleus, usually has a modest diameter. Comets act as time capsules, preserving elements from prehistoric times and providing information on early solar system circumstances, the transport of water and organic compounds to Earth, and the possible impact on the evolution of life on Earth over 4.6 billion years. There is a chance that comets, meteoroids, and asteroids will strike Earth, the impact velocity, composition, and size of these objects will determine the kind of damage they cause. Let's look at a summary of how each may impact Earth. Threats from larger asteroids are more serious. A significant effect might result in extensive damage, even triggering fires, tsunamis, and even repercussions on the climate globally. Smaller asteroids usually burn up before they reach the surface, though they do occasionally hit Earth's atmosphere. On the other hand, massive asteroid impacts are uncommon and happen over geological time scales. When meteoroids, which are tiny celestial bodies, enter Earth's atmosphere, the majority of them burn up, producing meteors, also known as shooting stars, which are visible streaks of light. Meteorites are larger meteoroids that make it to Earth's surface and escape atmospheric entry. These hits might result in localized harm even if they are uncommon. Volatile materials in comets vaporize as they get closer to the sun, producing a brilliant coma and a tail that always points away from the sun usually. This doesn't directly endanger Earth. An impact of considerable size may result from a comet's path crossing Earth's orbit. That being said, there is little chance that such an occurrence will occur. The largest impact event in recent Earth history is the Chicxulub impact, which is thought to have been triggered by a huge comet or asteroid. It took place about 66 million years ago, 
caused the extinction of the dinosaurs, and had a significant impact on the ecosystems of the Earth. On the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, the impact created the Chicxulub Crater, which has a diameter of about 150 kilometers. A tremendous amount of energy was unleashed by the collision, resulting in enormous fires, tsunamis, and the ejection of material into the atmosphere. The material that was expelled caused a nuclear winter effect, blocking sunlight and resulting in a sharp reduction in world temperatures. An important turning point in the evolution of life on Earth was this impact event, which shaped the planet's biodiversity and the dominance of mammals for millions of years. Crucial insights into the dynamic and linked processes that have shaped our planet throughout geological time scales can be gained from the study of such impact events. About 800 meters across, and in 2029 it's going to come exceedingly close to the Earth but not hit it, but the Earth will change its orbit and we don't know where it's going to go after that. So there is a possibility that it could hit in 2036. If we were to confirm one was heading our way, then is there anything we could do to stop it? So what would happen if we were hit by a big one? An asteroid would be hitting the Earth at somewhere between 15 and 20 kilometers per second. When a 10 kilometer sized rock hits the ground, the rock itself simply vaporizes. Craters, impact sites, everywhere you look. If a big one hits, we all die. The last time this happened, it wiped out the dinosaurs. Is there anything we can do to avoid the same fate? Research is being done on mitigation techniques such early identification and deflection tactics to lessen the possibility of an impact hazard. Near-Earth object monitoring programs, such as NASA's, actively search for and evaluate any hazards, giving planners and responders plenty of time to prepare in case a dangerous object is discovered. Even though there is little chance of a catastrophic impact, research is still being done to improve human knowledge and readiness for these cosmic occurrences. Thank you very much for watching. I'd humbly request you to subscribe the channel so that I can bring more presentations to you.